Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Divas and Devos. You know what time it is, it's time to get cooking. This recipe for a keto taquito was highly requested by all of you guys, so we're gonna get into it today. By the way, loves, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you do like the video. It definitely helps the channel. I used about a teaspoon of this food grade hydrogen peroxide to rinse the chicken along with about three cups of water. You don't have to do this step, but I did. I like to brine my chicken for tenderness, so I add half of a lime. I added some of the Bubby's juice the pickle juice it's amazing it's already a brine so why not and then i also added mm, i would say about a teaspoon of bragg's apple cider vinegar again with the macros it gets a little funny with recipes like this use what i've stated as a framework and if you really need to know the very nitty-gritty details go ahead and calculate them the chicken sit in the brine for at least an hour sometimes I just let it set in the refrigerator overnight it just will break down the tendons in the chicken meat and just make everything much more tender so you can't kind of go wrong with it but it should be ready in about an hour if you you're in a pinch I then remove the chicken from the brine and start the marination process. I use this Thrive Market buttery coconut oil. It is refined. I didn't want that coconut flavor, but I did want the fat and I want it to help the seasonings get, you know, combined all together during the marination process. To season the chicken, I add some Redmond's Real Salt and one of my favorite seasonings of all time, bar none, which is the Flavor God Garlic Lovers. It is amazing. It will make everything that you make taste better. Then after I add the Garlic Lovers, which again, I could season almost anything with just this and salt and it would be perfect. But for this recipe, and being that it's taquitos, I wanted to add some more Mexican flavor. So. I added the Mexican Fiesta seasoning that I got from Frontier Co-op and it was excellent. Then some Mexican oregano, you can't leave this out. A little bit of black pepper. And 
and then just give everything a good stir to combine. Let all the seasonings marinate throughout the chicken. We definitely want to season both sides. We don't season one side. We need seasoning everywhere. I like to insert seasoning in every stage of the prepping process of the chicken. After seasoning side two, go ahead and give it another good stir. Let all those seasonings and the oil also coat the chicken so that you're gonna have an even marination. You can of course go ahead and let this marinate in the fridge for an hour or overnight, but I'm always in a hurry, so I use my food saver a lot of times to marinate things quickly. It marinates in about 15 minutes or so, and it's as deep of a flavor as if you did it overnight. Seal the chicken thighs with the food saver machine and then let it sit in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes or so. Often I have other things to do. Maybe it'll be 30 minutes, an hour, whatever you need, but about 15 minutes will get you where you want to be if you're in a hurry. You can use a number of oils that are really good with heat. Uh, avocado oil, grapeseed oil. I happen to have refined coconut oil because I'm working on a butter blend, so I use that. Just add that to the pan, let it get really hot. Not angry heat where it's like all the way up heat, but like medium moderate heat and let that cast iron skillet get really hot, evenly hot, if that makes sense. So we're gonna use my grandmother, May Violet's method, of testing the pan. Flick a little water off of your hands, stay away from the pan to be safe. That will let you know if it's sizzling like that, the chicken is ready to go in. Then just go ahead and add those succulent and delicious chicken thighs to the pan with the hot hot oil skin side down and don't mess with them too much just let them start to brown with a medium to high heat i let the first side with skin down cook for about three minutes but you can just peek you know take a fork and just peek at it a little bit and see about how done it is and the brownness and see what you want to do but about three or four minutes is usually good and then you can flip it and maybe turn the heat down a bit and just let it cook through a bit for another five to six minutes. By the way, without even going one step further, you could just make these chicken thighs during your meal prep for the week and be in a really good position. Add these with some seared or roasted asparagus and some cauliflower mash, you'll be all good. Once the chicken is seared properly and about 90 to 95% cooked through, based on my estimation anyway, I'll take it out at that point because we're going to fry these again in the taquitos. If you choose to do this for meal prep, which is a great idea, you can go ahead and keep it going a little bit longer if need be, but this should be good enough for the taquitos. I then go ahead and set the chicken aside because I want to start mixing some of the other ingredients that will go in the chicken filling. I'm going to use white onion and two cloves of garlic and we'll add some chive and onion cream cheese just to bring everything together. You'll see in a minute. After adding the chopped onion and garlic, I then go ahead and take one of the chicken thighs that I prepared and just get the meat off of the bone and then add that to the food processor as well.
I then add about one tablespoon of Philadelphia's cream and onion chive cream cheese to a microwave safe container, a little bowl, and microwave it for maybe like 10 to 15 seconds just to warm it up so it's smooth. And then I'm gonna add it to the food processor with the chicken, onions, and garlic. And just pulse all the ingredients together you know maybe give it give it five six seven pulses just till everything is combined you do not want a puree you want it chunky see kind of like this okay now we're gonna prep our keto tortillas they are an amazing flour tortilla dupe and they are featured on the channel this keto tortilla dupe is so much like the original article that you'll probably have some on hand I ran out they go fast in this house but you can go ahead and just make them you know when you're about to do the taquitos but if you have them on hand and they're less pliable at that point you can show them to some hot oil and just dip them in the oil quickly just to get them pliable and hot again and then do the rolling process that you'll see in a few secs Since I made these tortillas fresh, as soon as they came out of the pan, I switched right over to the prepping station and just started filling them with the chicken mix. And then I added some Mexican shredded cheese in the middle, rolled them together and just let them set so that they'll hold together. Or otherwise they probably will come apart if you just roll it and then try to throw it right in hot oil. So I did roll these out and then let them set for about a half hour, just sitting there on the countertop. I know a lot of people like to shred their cheese like from scratch, but if this is what you have, this is what you have, and this is what I had, so this is what I used. So at this point, you want to just fill and roll together your keto taquitos and keep them with the seam side down as you're letting them set. It'll make them understand this is the position they're supposed to be in so that they don't unroll as you're frying them. Just let that happen. Let them sit. They will set up properly. Give them a chance and be patient. When you drop them in the oil, you'll be all set. Just go ahead and repeat the process until all your taquitos are done. People use different methods to test their oil to see when it's hot enough to start frying. I use my grandmother made violets method, which is flicking a little bit of water into a pan and when you see it start to sputter, you know it's ready to go. Then just go ahead and gently lay one of the taquitos into the pan. You could probably do more than one, but I did not want to crowd the pan. I wanted to make sure it came out perfectly and this is the result here.
I was wondering if this was gonna work, guys, but I am so happy with the way these taquitos held together. Look at them. They look just like flour tortillas. Then you can just go ahead and plate these babies and add your favorite toppings. Add whatever you love. I love guacamole, sour cream, pico de gallo. Add whatever you like and have fun with it. By the way, go ahead and make sure to subscribe, like, and share. If you do like the video, it really helps the channel.